Hello, my dear students and parents. Today we have with us Mr. Ravi Teja, who secured All India second rank in GATE 2024 with the EC background. I'm very happy to inform you all that he is a classroom coaching student of Ace Engineering Academy, Hyderabad, our Kottapeta branch. Today we will have a small discussion uh, with Ravi Teja about uh, the GATE exam, his strategy, etc. Okay. Hi, Ravi Teja. Congratulations. Okay. Tell us briefly about yourself. So, my name is Ravi Teja and I am from Andhra Pradesh. Uh, I did my uh, bachelor's from Bapatla Engineering College and uh, in, the, in the stream of electronics and communication and I am a graduate of 2021. And then I later I did job for 1.8 years in Wipro as a VLSI engineer, which I got through campus placements. Then I decided to resign in March 2023 and I decided to prepare for it. So I joined Ace Academy Hyderabad in offline mode at Kotapet branch and I started my uh, preparation journey there. See, what made you to resign for the Wipro job? Generally, campus placement is a dream for uh, every engineering student. So, I already uh, have this thought of preparing for GATE from my final year only and I gave my first attempt in my final year and I got 36 marks at that time. Uh, and at that time I didn't prepare much but I still got 36, so 36 marks. So, that kept my confidence uh, alive and I uh, I believed in myself that I can crack it if I give, give it one more attempt. So. I still have this thought in my mind while doing the job also, but because of COVID situation, I had to do the job and uh, later uh, when the offline coaching was uh, started, I decided to resign and uh, I joined uh, in offline classes. Okay, Mr. Raviteja, do you think that doing MTech or higher education in a premier institute will add to your future? Yeah, yes, sir, definitely. because. The infrastructure and uh, the facilities available at uh, top colleges are very good. We can develop our uh, knowledge a lot and also we can develop interpersonal skills and a lot. So, these are very essential to uh, survive in a job market. So, definitely uh, this will help a lot. So, I would like to add one point. Uh, even I have seen in several colleges including our ACE Engineering College. Sometimes there are some very bright students who have the eligibility to get the best ranks in GATE exam and pursue MTech or even PhD in premium institutions like IIS Bangalore and IITs. But in spite of that, they are settling in campus placement with some sort of lower packages also. Once they get a campus placement, they simply leave this uh, GATE preparation. My opinion. My sincere advice, those who are capable, please target GATE exam. See, nowadays, for certain uh, streams, particularly core streams, even the CLC also, if you pursue MTech in IITs or premier institutions, you will definitely get a job in a product-based companies with higher packages. Not only higher packages, you will have a bright future and a happy life okay so mr ravitecha uh, what about uh, your classes in uh, ace hyderabad kotapet so as i've taken offline coaching the interaction between the faculty and students is very high so which is a main important thing in a uh, in a coaching program so this helped me a lot in building my concepts i was able to grasp most of the concepts in the class itself and I believe the most important thing for preparation is the conceptual understanding because if we have good conceptual understanding, we can uh, solve the questions easily and if we can solve questions that builds the confidence and confidence is the key to success. So, conceptual understanding, the tool I use to build my concepts is the visualization. So, the ACE Academy uses best use of, uh, makes best use of technology by using slides, 3D animations and all which definitely matched with my uh, uh, which definitely matched with the with my skills and so i was able to focus more and i was able to grasp the concepts in the first attempt it's in the first go itself 
it means uh, the smart classrooms yes sir. the smart boards yes okay the technology they used in the yes, classrooms yes. okay how was your interaction with the faculty members in the classroom outside the classroom yes so in the classroom definitely as the teachers are teaching in front of us we can have a great uh, interaction between us and also if we have any doubts mostly we, we can resolve our doubts in the class itself where the faculty can uh, directly solve our doubts or if not possible uh, there are also other ways we can reach out to our uh, uh, lectures like we can directly message the lecturers and they are always available and also we can also uh, clear our doubts through online uh, yes online app fresh chat uh, yes online fresh chat app. Yeah. yeah so we can directly contact with the uh, professors and we can uh, resolve our doubts very quickly okay how was the and which subjects motivated you a lot and which subjects you feel uh, were very much useful in your exam yeah so obviously the easy subjects will be the most uh, uh, important for building confidence because uh, like digital circuits networks control systems everyone uh, like mostly start with these subjects because if we can, uh, these subjects can build our confidence so obviously these subjects helped me a lot and in the final exam also uh, i was able to solve quickly the questions from these subjects i was able to solve very quickly so obviously they helped in uh, saving some time and also improving my marks mr raviteja after the classes are over how many hours used to prepare daily yeah so the classes usually last uh, from morning to afternoon so in the afternoon i used to go to the ace study halls which are provided and it's a great environment there like everyone is studying so we can concentrate a lot so i used to go there and study for from afternoon to uh, until mid, uh, until night time and uh, yeah so this environment has helped me to concentrate more and prepare more without uh, without losing the concentration so this helped me a lot what about the practicing online test series etc yeah so test series is a major part of the preparation they help a lot because test series improves our time management our speed accuracy everything will be decided by this test series only and i also gave a lot of tests and i think the key i got this rank is the test series only because as i gave a lot of tests i came to know a lot of new questions and i, I improved my uh, understanding of those questions and my time management accuracy they are they have all improved a lot and in the final exam also i was able to cool uh, i was able to write the exam with a very calm mindset only because of this test series because i have given a lot of tests so it's like the final exam is also like another mock test i am giving so i was with a very cool mindset and this is, and cool mindset is actually very important because it's very easy to mess up the things in that final exam if we are not cool so that is very important so you wrote so many tests yes sir how the platform of test series of ace yes compared to main gate platform yeah so the platform is exactly similar to the gate one uh, like you can interface and all everything is the same so we can have a feel of writing a direct gate exam through ace uh, uh, ace academy's uh, this exam portal and also they provide a uh, very good uh, statistics of the exam like how how much we are scoring what are our weak subjects uh, what areas we should improve on like that so yeah this platform is very much similar to the gate how you use this uh, virtual calculator yes so from the starting itself i acquainted myself with the gate calculator i was using gate calculator only because i know that this uh, obviously this is the one we are going to use in the final exam and by using this i mean as i am using this from the starting it helped me to solve i mean to type it very quickly to i mean without seeing the keys also so and also i was, I was able to uh, do the complex calculations with a single with a single line because uh, i was using it uh, for a long time so we can do the complex calculation very quickly and in that way we can save a lot of time okay one uh, simple doubt whenever you write uh, 
online test series. Sometimes your performance may be better, sometimes you might have got low marks. Yes. What was your strategy when you get uh, low marks? Yeah. To so, cope up mm, yes. further. So, before I started my preparation, uh, so uh, I used to watch a lot of toppers' videos. And they have also faced the same kind of problem. Like initially, they may get less marks in test series, but they didn't give up. They continued preparing. And through this, I got to know that, okay, it's very common to get less marks. So this thing has helped me to maintain my uh, confidence. Even though I get less marks, I used to uh, revise those questions wherever I did mistakes. And I used to improve uh, my, re I used to re revise those concepts again. and. Uh, write more tests and later on the marks will be automatically improved. Yeah, what about uh, the study material given by A's and how many times you practiced the previous year questions? Yeah, so PYQs are very important in facing the exam because we get to know what type of concepts they are asked, what is the difficulty level of the test uh, questions. I actually solved uh, the PYQs. While I was uh, while I was practicing the questions from ACE materials, they provide a, a PYQ book separately. So I used to solve all the questions from that book. Uh, that that's the first time. And uh, later, when I uh, when I was giving the test series also, I used to solve some PYQs, not all of them, which are I feel difficult or which are I forget the questions or the formulas. I used to solve those questions once again so that I can remember the concept and also the formula. You mean to say that uh, you have prepared some short notes or micro notes? Yes. Yeah, so short notes I have prepared after the uh, syllabus is completed and mostly I used short notes only to revise. And if I get any doubt, uh, if I forget any concept while revising the short notes, then only I used to go to the main notes and revise the whole concept. Okay, one more general question. Honestly, have you covered entire syllabus? Yeah, so no. I did not cover entire syllabus and I feel that no one can cover 100% of the syllabus because it's very vast and but gate exam does not require to cover entire syllabus. Uh, I also did not, I left out a few topics from a few subjects but that that's not the main <coughs> thing. Whatever we have studied, whatever we have uh, revised, we need to be very strong in it. We need to have the depth understanding of what we have studied. So that is the main important thing. Yeah, I am also sorry to say that there are certain students who always think about completion of syllabus, 100% syllabus. So covering everything. See, my advice, know your strengths. Know the availability of time. So what is your target? So sometimes nothing wrong. Heavens will not fall down if you leave some topics which may take so much time, but the weightage of those topics in the exam is very less. See, I have seen some students covering everything, but finally not qualified. So, it, how much syllabus you have covered? That is one aspect. Okay, if you can cover, it is okay. But how qualitatively, how you are able to bring the result output finally, that is very important. Okay. So, how many marks you scored in the gate exam? Yes, sir. Finally, I scored 74.33 marks. 74.33. Not 100 marks. No, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay, finally, what is your suggestion to juniors? Yeah, so the most, as I said, the most important thing is the conceptual understanding. Like, uh, like always, we can use many techniques to improve. Like, I used my visualization ability to understand the concepts and retain it for a long time. And also, there are some other psychological factors also, which many people, I, I have talked to so many of my friends and uh, people. So most of them are afraid and they used to compare themselves with others and they used to be afraid that they cannot score it. So if we don't have confidence in our results, then we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, achieve any success. So, so be confident in yourself and believe in your strengths and improve it. So this is the main thing. See, you got the campus placement. Yes. I forgot to ask early. Yeah. You left the job after 1.8 years, yeah. you said. That. So, at the time of resigning, definitely it is a risk. Several yes, friends, yeah. relatives also may say. Yeah. What was the support from your parents? 
So, yeah, parent, my parents have supported me a lot during this preparation. And when I was about to resign, uh, when I uh, told my decision to my parents, they gladly accepted because they know me from my childhood or uh, they have confidence, they have belief in me. So, they have supported me a lot. Okay. Thank you, Ravi Teja. So, to conclude, I say namaskarams and pranams to your parents yes. and your B.Tech college also and your friends, other teachers also. Okay. Thank, thank, you, thank you. All sir. the best. Huh? God bless you. So